earlier on, I was listening to the local BBC radio station, uh, Coventry and Warwickshire, uh, here in the UK, and it was mentioning about a couple of service uh, personnel that were in for together dress uh, uniform uh, during a re uh, rehearsal to do with a, a colleague's funeral. And they went to this bar to get themselves a cup of coffee, just to help calm themselves down. Nothing special, uh, by all accounts. And they were refused entry to the place, basically because they were in uniform. Now that's shocking enough as it is, because those boys have no doubt been out to places like Iraq and Afghanistan doing a job that they're trained for, okay, I don't agree with the original conflict because we all know it was a lie, but those boys are doing their best out there now to do a job and stay alive, preferably in one piece. But going back to the bar, the bar in Coventry is called Browns, and you probably see it on the news about the storm it's kicked up that the, the owner has basically brought on his own head. And even though he's apologised, big deal, he's actually still claiming that they re he's refusing to change the policy that states that you're not allowed to be served if you're in uniform. Okay. On Facebook, it's gone viral. It's basically it's gone viral everywhere. People claiming, well, demanding that uh, the place be boycotted. To be perfectly honest... You serve your country, you're doing a job. You come back into this country, yes you're in uniform, maybe for a special event or you just come back into this country, you should be entitled to go into any bar, cafe, restaurant and get served. The thing is, I, uh, I thought at first it was only to do with the service personnel, but apparently this person that runs the bar has also had business people refused, you know, tie and suit jobs. Or because, as far as they're concerned, they weren't dressed properly. Strange. Tie and suit. I would have thought, you know, you're a professional, so if you're a businessman or something like that, you would be dressed up like that. And what's the problem? As I say, it's gone viral. On Facebook, there actually there's calls now for the place to be boycotted. And to be perfectly honest, I've never been there. I've no intention of going there. And yes, if I see the place and if I'm invited to go there any time, I'm boycotting it. My suggestion is to anybody in the UK that knows of the place in Coventry, do yourself a favour, go somewhere else. Until Browns change their policy on how they treat people in uniform, he needs to be brought down a peg or three. If it means his business suffers, tough. That's his problem. He might go out of business. Shame. You treat military personnel like common trash then I'm afraid sorry you're no good in my eyes okay I could understand it if uh, they didn't they went in there uh, shouting their mouths off uh, playing the old Rambo types but they're British soldiers British uh, soldiers basically British military we're trained better well they're trained better as I say, you know where Browns is in Coventry? Walk past.